that was great. Cesaria Vora. And we're back. I am your host, Nada Milkovich. This is Artist on Art. And we have two new wonderful guests in the house here. Nancy Carlin and Gary Allen Wright are here to talk about the upcoming production, It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play put on by Shakespeare Santa Cruz. Nancy Carlin is the director. Nancy, thank you so much for coming in. Welcome. Uh, thank you for having us. And so you are the director of this stage play of a radio play of a theatrical play. Is that right? A, st- a or stage a play of a radio play of a movie. Yes, that's correct. So this, uh, this It's a Wonderful Life was first a movie. It, well, well, it was first a uh, story, actually. A uh, Christmas card, we've learned that the idea for the story came. But yes, it's known as a movie, a Frank Capra film. That With came the great in, Jimmy Stewart, yes, and uh, you have to, you must know this, folks. It's the black and white movie that comes on every Christmas. They play it all the time. It's not the the Scrooge one uh, <laughs> right. with Dickens. It's the <laughs> other one. It's not, it's you'll about. shoot your eye out. It's <laughs> not that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's Gary, Gary Allen Wright talking, who is acting and performing in. Yeah, it's a wonderful life, a live radio play. It opens November fifteenth. Is that correct? Right? And well, the, yes, first performance is November 15th. Opening night is the 16th. Opening night is the 16th. So the first performance is kind of like the dress rehearsal. We call it a preview. No, that's a, you can get tickets to that as well. Great. For less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for us on a budget. November 15th is the night. And then it, the opening night is November 16th, and it runs through December 8th. Correct. And it's here at UCSE in the Theater Arts main stage. That's right. And this is a co-production between Shakespeare Santa Cruz and the UCSC Theater Department. Oh, wonderful. It's the annual holiday show. It's the annual holiday show, and it's a mixture of both professional actors, such as Gary Allen Wright, and students. Correct. So the theater arts students get to perform. And how big is the cast? Uh, we, we have uh, seven students and two uh, guest artists, union actors, and a, f- a four-piece band on stage as well. Wow. Yep. And so I can't help but thinking about uh, the movie by Altman, uh, where it's the... Uh, a Prairie Home Companion. A Prairie Home yes, Companion. That's right. And and so that's a movie, if you all don't know about it, Prairie Home Companion is a radio show that's done by uh, this fabulous writer. Garrison Keillor. Garrison Keillor, who I think comes off better on the written page myself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's sure as fun to see it in action. Exactly. He puts me to sleep. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah. Garrison. You're wonderful. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I'm sure yours is not going to be like that at all. Um, in fact, the little snippets I got to hear sounded really wonderful. And it, it's uh, it was an interesting thing about thinking about playing recordings of It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play on the radio while we were live, and I got too confused by it, so I'm not even going to try, folks. Sorry. Meta, meta, meta. You're going to have to come out and see this theatrical uh, performance. Yep. So, Nancy Carlin, as the director, tell us... Okay, well, where did yeah. this idea come from? Why not just do yeah. the It's a Wonderful well, Life? Uh, well, uh, it's first of all, it's not. Yeah, it's not my. It wasn't our uh, our idea, although it's a wonderful idea. Uh, the playwright Joe Landry, that was his idea to tell the story this way. Um, so it's a different story. No, it's, we're telling. Yeah, I mean, we're telling the story of It's a Wonderful Life, but it's set as a live broadcast of a radio play in 1946, exactly when the movie came out. And at that time, there were radio dramas, you know, radio broadcast plays of current movies. So that was uh, that was going on at the time. So it's historically, in some ways, correct that 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 might have happened. And in fact, maybe did happen that they did this once as well. But so we're in a music hall, you know, in a radio hall, live theater, like a lot, you know, think, think, uh, um, uh, you know, where, where an audience comes to watch a broadcast of a play. But then, so the audience is treated to seeing the actors play many different parts and to watch the foley in action, the live sound effects. Um, and there's a lot. There's babies yeah. crying. There's uh, all there's kinds all of amazing wind sounds. Wind and storms and water and, yeah. yeah. And Nancy's actually done a pretty brilliant thing with this production that's not um, 
that's not laid out for her in the play. It was just an idea she had to um, to cast three terrific singers and also actresses to do all the foley, and they also do the commercial jingles. There are some old time radio commercial jingles that happen at at the act breaks so of Gary, the story. Gary mm-hmm. Allen Wright, what what part? You don't have to call me Gary yeah, Allen Wright. Gary, right. okay. Gary is fine. <laughs> well, I want the audience to know yeah. who you are. Yeah, they'll know. <laughs> <laughs> what what parts do you play? I play Clarence and Clarence Uncle is Billy. The angel. The angel. Yeah, Clarence oh, yeah. is the angel. Oh. He's uh, he's George's guardian angel who comes down to stop him it's from killing feeble, himself. It's a little feeble, kind of a <laughs> minded. Yes, feeble minded, yes. Um, um, but and a heart uh, of gold. exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Clarence and um, and Uncle Billy, the really feeble-minded one, actually, but yeah. also Heart of Gold. So yes. um, let's see. And who else? I, I've got like a dozen different characters that I'm doing, um, wow. including Mr. and Mrs. Welch on the telephone, and, and George Bailey's one of George's, father. Yeah, George Bailey's father Billy and Bailey. his youngest son. That's right, and Tommy. Tommy. And um, this sounds so much fun. Yeah, so, it's sometimes great. these it's actors will play entire scenes with themselves. You know, that's right. Yeah, I have a couple of scenes where I yeah. talk to myself. I so t- is this a Ted. new yeah. um, gig for you? I mean, it's not often you get to like talk to yourself. Well, <laughs> Gary's a- actually quite experienced at talking to himself. <laughs> yeah, part no of the reason to you. <laughs> I did cast. I've, I've, wor- I've had the pleasure of working with Gary over many fifteen years at a theater company, and we both were part of. And I know he's played, every once in a while there are these plays that one actor plays many roles. And I know Gary uh, was, uh, I've seen him do that and I know he could handle that and he has experience doing that. In fact, Gary once played the version of this play where one guy does the whole story. The one man, it's a wonderful right. life. And yeah, there aren't many a... guys in this country who have done that, and Gary's <laughs> right. one of them. Gary! Right, yes. yeah, that's a play called I... This Wonderful Life, and the conceit of that one is that I, I'm an actor who, It's a Wonderful Life is my favorite movie, and I love it so much, I have to do the whole thing for you and play all the parts. <laughs> So, wow. yeah, I did that a that couple years ago. That sounds really so hard. So I thought, if I can get Gary to come one. play, then we're in good hands. Well, yeah, because you only play yeah. half a dozen, or did right. you say a dozen? Oh, yeah. It's, yeah this, this one's not one. yeah. <laughs> And then uh, It's a shame to take the pay. And, the, and our other guest <laughs> artist, um, Ted Barton, is also a colleague of both of ours. From He's he, he, wonderful as well with playing all these parts. So uh, are you mm-hmm. alluding to the American Conservatory Theater? Is that uh, where you no, worked we together? we worked together at uh, Foothill Theater Company in Nevada City. Uh, yeah, Foothill was a Foothill was a small theater company that I was an associate artist at, and we brought Nancy in almost every year to direct something for us and for Nan- quite a while. And Nancy, mm-hmm. you you've 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 gone around. You've been <laughs> yeah, to I've New been York. Around. I hate yeah. to say it that way, it. but <laughs> yeah. you, you've been around the U.S. Yeah, I've, you've you've yeah. uh, been able to direct. You're also a writer and an actor, and an yeah. actor, mm-hmm. and a producer, and a vocal coach. Yes. And where do you live? Uh, I live in Berkeley. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is so just a too small. Far. This yeah. is a small jaunt. Right, right, right. Yeah. And how about you, Gary? I live in Grass Valley, which is about an it's an old mining town about an hour north of uh, Sacramento. It's where Foothill Theater Company used to be uh, the late lamented Foothill Theater Company. We closed oh. our doors in 2009. So now I freelance and I get to come to places yeah. like Santa Cruz. And, wow, that's and wonderful. Kind of Gary's a writer as well. Right. And uh, he's a playwright, and playwright and screenwriter, so it's nice he can sort of be anywhere to do that work. Right, right. yeah. So that's nice. So that's what I'm doing mostly now. All right. You're listening it here on Artist on Art. I have the great pleasure of speaking with Nancy Carlin and Gary Allen Wright. Nancy is the director, and Gary is an actor in It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play that opens November 15th. Well, yeah, November 15th. November sure. 15th is the preview. The opening night is November 16th, and it runs through December 8th, and it's a way to celebrate the season. This new holiday season is coming quickly upon us, and it's uh, Shakespeare Santa Cruz, and they're co-producing this with the UCSC Theater Department. Correct. And so It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play. Uh, is going to be a little different. It's not going to be like the movie. It's a representation of a live radio play happening on stage of the movie It's a Wonderful Life. Yep. It's uh, And it's a way for family members, let's say somebody like myself who remembers listening to the radio quite a bit, and taking my kids and showing them what radio used to be like. What did people yeah. do before television, yeah. let alone the Internet and uh, YouTube? 
they sat around and they listened to the radio where these incredible performances would happen in audio, sound. Mm -hmm. And they would have folio artists, as Nancy mentioned, that recreated sounds of thunder rolling and lightning and sirens and all the things that you can think of folio mm-hmm. artists make and they make it sometimes using their mouths it's like very yeah. performative as yes. well as instruments right. and and you're saying and that props. Yeah. and in this production mm-hmm. of it's a wonderful life a live radio play you have the three folio artists are the backup singers yeah yeah in the script there's one folio artist and then the company sings these jingle songs so we have made it we invented them they're a trio called the clearly sisters and they uh they they sing in wonderful harmony the uh, jingles. They also will greet you as you arrive in the theater as usherettes. So they have um, they're, they're never a dull moment. Yeah, for those they're girls. working. They're working. Yeah. <laughs> and they actually play a few uh, roles as well here and there. They throw in a character here and there. So Nancy Carlin, yeah. when did Joe Landry write this this piece? Mm-hmm. Is um, it is it modern? Or uh, is it hasn't been around all that long. I know. It's, well, maybe, I, what do you think? In the last over the last eight years, maybe. Maybe. There was a period where the copyright on the movie It's a Wonderful Life lapsed, and I'm sure somebody got in terrible trouble over that. But for a while, that movie was in the public domain. And during that time, a number of scripts were written exploiting that situation. And this is this is one of the, one of the scripts that came out of that. What a brilliant idea, yeah. folks. That's what you need to do. If you're a writer, yeah. you need to look out and find out what the copyright yeah. <laughs> exactly. lapses right. are yes. happening. And jump on that. Is that in Vanity or wait? Yeah, Variety. variety. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> How do you find that out? So, it know, doesn't that, matter. Actually, I, I happen to know there is a public domain website that you can get newsletters from. I get them. Oh, oh I troll oh. it all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and have you, ambulance chaser. That's right. Yeah. And so, Gary Wright, have yeah. you have you used uh, in your writing? Have you have you looked at some of these lapses as potential? Uh, mining or kind oh, of, of course, things. yeah. Um, I was I was recently talking to a theater company near where I live, the Sacramento Theater Company, about a possible play commission, and they were they were especially interested in a couple of things. They wanted name recognition, and they wanted um, they wanted something preferably that was on the school curriculum reading list. So I went and looked through lists go. of public domain works from, you know, classic works of literature. To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, not in public domain. Yeah. Right. Um, and so tell us a couple of the ones that you were surprised to find, if you don't mind. Or maybe you want to keep them to yourself. You're a writer. I, 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 I know. You don't want to give it away. Uh, no, no <laughs> secrets here. I, I have no secrets from you. Um, <laughs> but we just met, Gary. Well, there were... <laughs> you, know, you know my middle name and everything. Um well, there were uh, a number of Mark Twain stories that I, I was I was oh. a big Mark Twain fan as a kid, and I thought I'd pretty much read the canon, but I discovered some things that I didn't know mm. about. And, and one of the stories that I pitched to them was, uh, oh, what was it? It was one about twins. About It was about conjoined twins. Mm. You, some of your listeners, do you, do you know which story this is? I, I, it's, is it? it's coming Conjoined to twins me. who yeah. come and take over this small town in kind of a Harold Hill kind of <laughs> oh, way. Oh, wow. And that, but, they, but they don't get along. The conjoined twins don't get along. <laughs> and so course. they divide the town and half supports one twin and the other half supports the other. And then there's a duel. All right. And uh, it's, it just sounded outrageous and, I, yeah. and like so much fun. But <laughs> uh, they thought it sounded a little too difficult. Well, now you've pitched it. Yeah. So if anybody well, out there yeah, yeah. wants to get a hold get of you, yeah, yeah, Gary yeah two free Wright. tickets if yeah. you can guess the title of yeah. this Mark Twain piece. Um, well, get, Nancy, yeah. Nancy, I just want to say mm-hmm. nancycarlin.com if you want to see Nancy's sure, work. Sure. Um, Gary, where can people get a hold of your work? <laughs> are you online? You are. Yeah, I my saw website. your work. Well, you know, do you have you a website him. or anything? Or? Uh, I I don't have a personal website. I'm okay. Trying to think about this. Um, you can contact me, and I'll put you. Well, in touch I'm with on Gary. Facebook. Yeah, yeah right. there you go. There Gary is. Allen, yeah. right? Grass Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that uh, you love Mark Twain so much because Clarence Oddbody, the the angel, is right. is reading Tom Sawyer, and you know oh, there that's he is. Story. Uh, yeah. Bothering me. It'll come to you. Yeah. As oh, there you go. I hear the story. As soon as you get off, <laughs> actually, somebody's calling. They probably want to tell us. Yeah. Um, it's a wonderful <laughs> life. A live. I hope that's not a problem. A, a live radio play. <laughs> 
Is that what happened? <laughs> Did you tell them you'd give them free ticket? <laughs> he just said, I'm afraid right, I'm gonna have now to, I've done it again. I'm going oh, to oh, I'm gonna put oh, some no. music on, okay. folks. Uh, we'll be right back. This is a little Savario. <laughs> for when we come back, Gary will have been replaced. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on. No be goza this dia Sunday findo Jadi que pa no They, that was a really good try, but they didn't get it. They didn't get um, it. Yeah, it's a wonderful life. A live radio I'm play. Sorry, it's become what I care most about now. It's okay. Gary Wright is now obsessed, <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully for not title. too long, because he's going to be acting in a dozen different uh, parts. Yes. <laughs> for it's a wonderful life. A live radio play. Shakespeare Santa Cruz. You can go to shakespearesantacruz.org. I believe is what it is. Mm-hmm. Do you have the? Or San, well, here's SantaCruzTickets.com, it says on this. That's a good one, too. SantaCruzTickets.com. And again, this is going to be at the UCSC Theater Arts main stage with the preview night November 15th and then the opening night November 16th through December 8th, a co production between Shakespeare Santa Cruz and UCSC Theater Arts Department. Nancy Carlin, it's been such a pleasure. She is directing It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio program play um and uh thank you so much for coming into the the radio station here at kzse thanks for having me it's fun here yeah yeah Yeah. it is it's a lot of fun (laughs) here um can you tell us anything about what's happening with shakespeare santa cruz Um, um i don't you know i'm just i i'm not a regular member of the company i'm you know it's we're we're, they're going through a, a tough transition here. You yeah, know? It's a transition. And, um, we'll get somebody uh, else on to yeah, tell us I more don't... as things happen. Right. Um, Gary Allen Wright, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. It's, it's been blessed. a great pleasure. Hey, everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, if you missed any part of the show, you can go to artistonart.com. I'll have the podcast and video casts of today's show. Please stay tuned for otherworldliness, and it's going to be a great show. And enjoy the wonderful weather that we've got uh, out in uh, here in Santa Cruz. Stay tuned, everybody. Hey, thanks to Vanya Benavides for live tweeting as uh, we go. Thanks again, Nancy, Gary. Yeah. Have a great day. Thank you.